Welcome to PixEdit Advanced User Tutorials. Visit PixEdit.com for more information about our suite of software. PixEdit has several functions for map processing. In this video we show seamless joining of an antique map. It's always best to use a scanner capable of scanning an entire map page. Roller-based large format scanners can scan very long documents. Roller-based scanners may introduce some scaling errors, but such errors may be minimized by using the map correction function in PixEdit. However, in some cases you may need to scan brittle or perhaps valuable antique material as in the example you now see on your screen. You may not want to feed a hundred-year-old map through a large format roller scanner. Instead, you may need to put on white protective gloves and carefully scan such a map in sections using the largest available flatbed scanner. To save time and to simplify this video, we scan this example map in three sections and arrange the three sections as three separate pages in PixEdit. Then we use the manual DSKU function to ensure that each page was perfectly horizontally aligned. Our job in this video is to join, vertically align, and to remove the overlapping sections so that the resulting map becomes seamless. After processing, the map will be about 90 inches wide. We begin by roughly joining each section in a single page using Page, Join. Before we remove the overlap and at the same time fix vertical displacement, let's briefly talk about AccuPix. Perfect joining requires accurate indication of overlap. You have probably watched the AccuPix video, so let's just mention that in this case we have enabled manual AccuPix to obtain pixel accuracy by holding down the space key while digitizing overlap using the blow up window. Let's activate the Map Correction tool and then indicate the first overlapping section. The corner on this red house is present in both sections. Now, let's digitize the same corner to here as well. As you can see, PixEdit now marks the overlap with red color to indicate that this part will be removed and drawn together. If the two sections have exactly the same scale, these two digitized points are all we need. However, for very accurate and seamless joining, we digitize two additional points. When using four points joining, it is important that the vertical distance between them is as large as possible, since these distances are used for calculating and compensating for all tiny scale deviations between sections. Now we have indicated the overlap. Let's click the Done button. The two sections now fit perfectly together and we are therefore ready to remove the second overlap between sections 2 and 3. To illustrate simple two-point joining, this time we will just digitize two points instead of four and click Done. Our map is now ready to be saved in any suitable file format. In most cases, the section seams will be very difficult to detect as long as you didn't change scanner parameters during section scanning. In this example, the result is nearly perfect. Notice large paper maps change both shape and size when moved between rooms with different temperatures and air humidity. For this reason, you will want to scan each section in rapid succession and only after the map adapts to the new environment. If you don't have time to let the map acclimatize, you will need to use four-point joining to compensate for paper contraction or expansion between each section scanning.